Stephen Grant said that with a 10 minute set you can pad it with a good five if you're very lucky but mm -hmm. with a 20 minute set is there is that possible or would you say no because it's so much longer if you have no, a good I 10 mean, it's, uh, yeah I can I can hear the five minute to a 10 and you know I think when you're starting out with your first 20 it's rare that someone that's got their first 20 waits till it's bulletproof as a 20 before they go out and do it at a gig um, but what you've got to do on your way up to building your 20 is a shit sandwich. So whatever is your weaker material that you wish you'd left behind or is not as strong as a new material you're writing until you have that solid 20, you shit sandwich with the, with the mediocre material in the middle. Cause you know, you're going to close strong and you know, you're going to open strong. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Have you seen, have you seen it cut catapult into complete disaster when someone's done that i bet you have or you witnessed yeah yeah but i mean i think we all like you know i i'm sure it's happened to Stephen. it's like everyone can die at any gig it's possible um no matter how much you think a room is set up for you or the perfect audience for you or an audience that you're going to fail at and and you'll be surprised because they love you because you're everything they're not um so I always do, did my best to not judge the audience, uh, but yeah, you can fall spectacularly halfway through. It's whether or not you can you can claw it back, you know, yeah. which is why you should always have your strongest material at the front and the end, so you know you're definitely going to go somewhere. You know, you can turn it around. Mm -hmm.